Welcome to part 2. We are going to be focusing on two things on this video. First one is understanding some meh. Don't worry. We just need to understand the concept of it, and the second is how to have multiple inputs on a single rotator. We need to know the leg motion we want to achieve. Let's take a look at this particular walker. Introducing the Krampus. It will be our subject for this session. You would want the front legs to be pulling. And the back legs to be pushing the bot forward. Moving on. As you know, if you set a rotator's range, Let's just say 50. It will have 50 degrees forward and 50 degrees backwards. In rotator's language, one is forward, minus one is backwards. This is because rotators have min-max variable which allows them to do that. Some other parts also have this too like the control surface on wings. If you have watched the first part, I'm sure you are familiar with this. Now we will use sin alongside cost. This is important to know. As we need some parts to execute movement faster than other parts. But at the same time we need the moving parts to be in sync. Once you have done that, we would have a stable walking motion. Better than what we had in part 1. Now moving on to the second part. It's still moving forward even when you tell it to go back. What is the cause? Let's take a look into it. Let's dissect this code to better understand it. Split this into two. the first problem, introducing the clan 01. Now we have this. Let's test. is issued. It's safe to add more inputs at its current state. You just need plus between inputs.
pretty much it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Looking forward to see what you guys will be building. Good luck.